Hi there everybody, this is Miss Nelson here and today we are doing lesson 13.4 in your 4th grade Florida Go Math books. Lesson 13.4 is in your big book on page 511 and 512. Those are the pages that we're filling out during this video. 13.4 is called Find Unknown Measures. So we're still using what we learned about area and perimeter to be able to find unknown measures. So let me go ahead and give you this example here. It says, Tanisha is painting a mural that is in the shape of a rectangle. The mural covers an area of 54 square feet. So the, the area, it tells us already the area, is 54 square feet. I'm going to take that information and write it in here right away so I don't forget that. 54 square feet. We already know the area. The base of the mural measures 9 feet. So we know the base is 9 feet. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down here. Base is 9. They already did it for us. And what is its height? So we've got to figure out the height. Now if you remember, the formula for area is area equals the base times the height. So we're going to fill in what we do know to try to find what we don't. We know the area is 54. So we're going to say 54 equals. We know the base. It's 9. So we'll put a 9 where the base was. We don't know the height yet. So this has to stay in H. So then I think to myself, 9 times what will give me 54? 9 times 6 is 54. So the value that we're missing is 6. The height is 6. The value of H is 6. It says N there, but that's just the number missing. So you can think of it as the height for this. So 9 times what gave me 54? So I had to ask myself that and know that when I count by nines, it takes me six times to get up to 54. If I did not know that, I would just do 54 divided by nine. Nine fits into 54 six times equally with no remainder. All right, let's try another one. We're going to skip the what if and the explain at the bottom of 511. Let's go to example two on page 512. Okay, example two says, Gary is building an outdoor pen in the shape of a rectangle for his dog. He will use 24 meters of fencing. That's the perimeter, right? Because that's what's going around. It's not the area inside the pen. It's what's going around. So he's using 24 meters of fencing. The pen will be three meters wide. How long will it be? So let's take this information that we just got and put it onto our picture. So we know our perimeter is 24 meters. And we know our width is 3 meters. So we've got to figure out our length. Now remember that there's a formula to find perimeter. And it is perimeter equals 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. So let's put this information that we have into the formula and see if we can figure out what's missing. So we know our perimeter is 24. And we know it's going to be 2 times. And then the length, but we don't know the length yet, so we'll keep it in L. Plus 2 times the width, which we do know the width. The width is 3, so we'll put a 3 in there. Now we know when we have parentheses, we always do those first. So I'm going to move my 24 down here still. And this 2 times L, I can't do that yet. It's just going to stay 2 times L. 2 times 3, 6. Okay, so I need to think 24. What's going to give me 24? So I'm going to think... What is 24 minus this 6 that I already know? 24 minus 6 is 18. So 2 times what gives me 18? 
2 times 9 gives me 18. So the value of the length is 9. 9. So if I were to check myself, I'd do 9 plus 3 plus 9 plus 3 and hope that it equals 24. So I'm going to do that. 9 plus 3 is 12 plus 9 more is 21 plus 3 more is 24. So the pen will be 24 meters long. Okay, so this perimeter one is actually a little bit harder in my opinion than the area kinds of unknown because you've got to remember that it's not, it's two times what. So whatever your answer is when you do this minus this, whatever your answer is, you've got to divide by two because it says two times that is going to give you the correct answer. So when you stick the set information in and you do the, the actual perimeter minus the width or the length, whichever it happens to be, whatever your answer is, you've got to divide by two. So hopefully that makes sense. And then make sure you go back and check your work. Add up to make sure that it, the perimeter comes out to what it's supposed to come out to. All right, so that was lesson 13.4. If you do, if you have any questions, just leave me a message, and I will see you next time.